Hello, today we'll be going over the concept of recursion. Um, so, when are we going to be using recursion? Well, it's most useful when you're solving a problem in which uh, you have to solve smaller instances of the problem or uh, some part of the problem is repeated. And so, like, an example of recursion would be, I guess, uh, a simple definition is when you call a function inside of the function itself. So if we have something like void uh, recursion int x, um, we do something like, I guess, if n is equal to 0, So let's take a look at this example of a recursion function. So we have here, we're, we're calling the recursion function inside of itself. And let's see what exactly that does. Well, so, so, so let's say n is 5, and it doesn't go through this if statement, it goes through this else, and we're returning five times recursion of n minus one. So we're calling itself um, in the return statement. So then we're gonna have to do n, we're gonna basically perform the same thing, but with n minus one. So n minus one would be four, and it's not equal to zero, so it goes here again. And then we're returning n times recursion of n minus one again. So we're calling the recursion function in itself again. And so I guess we can just keep simulating this and minus one will be three and then that's not equal to zero so it goes through this else statement and then we're returning three times recursion of three minus one which is two and so we keep doing that until we get zero and then we get return one. So when we return one we basically go back to the previous statement where um, I guess I could draw this out. So first uh, it's five, so then we go four, three, two, one, zero. Then we return one, and then we have to do one times one, and then we return this, which equals one, into here and then two times whatever was returned, one equals two. So we return this here. It's three times two, which is six. And we go back here, four times six, which is 24. And then we go here, which is five times 24, which is 120. So if you haven't already um, realized, this is basically calculating the factorial of n. Um, and the way this recursion works is that we're basically uh, recursing until we get to 0. And then we're working backwards. And we're, I guess we're just basically multiplying. Um, or no, I'll word it differently. So if we look at this return statement, we have n and the recursion of n minus 1. And the recursion of n minus 1 will basically be the factorial of n minus 1. So 5 factorial is equal to 4 times, oh, not 4 times, 5 times 4 factorial. And 4 factorial is equal to 4 times three factorial. And so you can basically think of it as this. This recursion is calculating um, the current value times it's the current value minus one factorial, and then we keep going down until we get to zero, and then we work our or we work our way back upwards, and then we get our answer, which is 120. 
so that is basically recursion. Um, and you might be wondering why we can't do that with a simple for loop, where we loop backwards, or we loop from 0 to n, and we just multiply. Well, um, in this simple problem, it might be easy, but once we start using graphs and uh, graph traversals and using algorithms such as depth-first search or breadth-first search, uh, recursion is really use, uh, re useful. And also, more complicated mathematical problems um, require recursion. And we can't just solve it with for loops because we need the we need the ability to be able to perform that, um, or sorry, like the ability to perform smaller um, sub problems of the given problem. And yeah, thank you for watching.